wonderful episode of Planet Centauri with your host, Mr. Joker. That is me. And here we are on a completely new world. I think it's uh, 0.9. something D, I think. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's 0 0.9 point something with a letter D on the end. Uh, I went through the other worlds that I had and removed all the stuff. So I've got all my, uh, my stuff back, most of it. Uh, at least just, uh, you know, blocks and stuff. But I've been spending a lot of time uh, this week in here. I streamed it earlier this week and uh, tried to get some help, but uh, I don't have you guys that are huge fans of the series in the streams. So a lot of people are just kind of goes over their heads a little bit because it's they're new to the game, uh, which is cool because I like introducing people to new stuff. Um, I wanted to show you. Oh, here it is. Uh, something I've been working on. Uh, this border right here, <laughs> you can see I've been working up in the top left corner and I haven't quite explored the rest of this, but this giant wall, this is exactly how big this little biome is. Not even joking. I went right up to the edge and put a wall down and uh, this is how big the uh, startup biome is where nothing bad spawns in inside. Chickens will spawn and uh wisps will but that's about it i also had to uh dump a bunch of crap like i've got i've got a lot of stuff here um of course now my phone decides to start doing stuff uh <laughs> i've got a lot of stuff that i don't really care about but what i do have is some good information for you because i know you're all itching and dying like hey you know there's uh there's new things and all this stuff uh sadly so they they added i say sadly and i'll get to that in a second um we'll go over everything that's happening here just give me a minute to explain these are the pressure plates i have had a frustrating time and i was hoping to have this done for you but i'm, I'm kind of running out of time today um so the door kind of works um it it kind of works this one's supposed to spin it the other way yeah see but it's i can't seem to get it working right and i've tried uh all sorts of different things different setups but uh, i'll have to come back to it because it's a little frustrating but uh, i just want you to know that i'm still working on these automatic doors and getting a good feel for it now let's start with uh we've already gone over how these gear systems work i believe that was the last episode and uh how to build it up big connected to small small to go to big like this okay all the way down and you can tell you can just see how the speed increases a bunch all right uh we've got the I've, i'm working on having three massive windmills here each powering some system that i need now in the last one they also changed the block makers to have to be powered here's the cool thing all right the cool thing is that they are powered it goes so much faster if i was to put uh let's open up both of these all right this one is for uh grab grab 100 we'll pop that in there okay and uh it just it just spits it out really fast you see how fast that's going and that's not even max i've actually kind of slowed it down for reasons i'm about to get into but this is uh this is the wood crate so I've got, look at all this stuff. I've got plenty to build the biggest ultimate pirate ship, which is great because a water update is coming. It looks pretty sweet. I don't know if you're in the disc, in the, pal, uh, in the Planet Centauri Discord, but you should be because they posted something in there with uh, some pretty cool water effects. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what's going on here. Now, over here, we've got all the dirt that I've collected over the, over the year or so that I've been playing this at least and all the rock and uh, it does work it filters right in it does however limit it to 99 for some reason unless you just put a giant stack like I did uh, with the rock and uh, it just goes so here's what I suggest okay first off the gear ratio needs to be a certain speed and you can kind of I, I want you to really get a good look here one two three four five six seven seven big gears 
That's coming straight from a small to a big here, right off the main. Okay. Seven big gears, and they're all steel to a meat to the the these are medium, and then this is uh regular cock. Okay. So all of those, uh what, what did I say? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this one. And then it goes right down here. And the reason this is so important is because of this filter system that I made. Now I spent a lot of time on this this week. I spent a lot of time using the uh, conveyor belts, uh, the conveyor tubes here. Uh, whoops, wrong one. Down here, where is it? These ones, these mechanical iron conveyors. I tried these. I tried all sorts of things. I tried putting it at the angles. I tried spacing them out. I measured how much of a distance each of these little blocks can get on its own and then measured how much speed it gets when other blocks come in behind it. The problem was that you can't, you can't have it n navigate very well. You're always going to get some blocks stuck and there's going to be a backup. And when this thing gets backed up and it has uh, every time, all of these filled up, it won't make anymore. And you have to reset it by taking the rocks out and back and putting them back in. So I know that might be a bug, but at the same time, this is the downside to these new uh, block makers is that you, whereas before you could set up a bunch of them and have them only make certain ones and they will continuously make just those ones. Now they're going to make whatever they make. And if, if there's no room for it, it stops, it shuts off. So I fixed it. This is what we got now. We've got a filter system and this isn't just any filter system. I'm talking legit filter system. All my crimson tiles. Actually, let's just do this. Watch. I did this earlier today. I was like, oh, this is pretty dope. Uh, let's do that. You can see everything. Now, you'll notice I'm using rock in here. And the reason for that is just so that I don't get extra types that I don't really care about. Um, because what will happen is it goes through on each one. It'll it, If there's an opening, it'll go right in. Like If I take this block out. Look, it automatically goes in there, okay? And we don't want that. So I put the rocks in there because I'm not going to have rock go in. It's going to go into the maker and just start working. So the rocks are in there. Uh, let's go down here, open up these ones because we're not done yet. These are every single type uh, that we have available to us. All right. And then this last one, this is an overflow. Oh, dang it. I'm too far. Too far. I had it. I had it before. I heard it earlier today. It's not easy to oh, too far again. Yeah, see that one's empty. And that's just overflow. Just in case. Just in case these uh these start to get stacked up. Um I've set it up in such a way so that I can grab any type of item I want here. And you can and this has been running all day. All day. And I've got loads of any type that I want to make anything and it's so easy to go and ga gather rock it's it's pretty incredible uh so you can get any all the materials you need of any type all right here we've got our space saloon future st future stuff military roman royal stone age obsidian and crimson now over here we've got the dirt one and i didn't bother separating these out because it just didn't make any sense to me to do that uh we've got some modern aztec in there and and steampunk and it's just it, it doesn't fill up even one one bucket or chest or whatever so it's fine like that um now i set this up it has to have two pipes if you cu cut off one pipe it'll just keep going until it finds an open spot so it has to be two pipes and it also has to have one two three down i tried going one up and it doesn't get enough speed and it backs up and when i like i said when this thing backs up it's over. It's done. It won't keep going. So one, two, three, one, two, and then three down and then two and then three down and then two. Um, if you make it f longer, it's going to have more speed. And if it has too much speed, it won't go in any of these. This is the perfect speed for it to at least grab on the first one or the second one. It has to have two spots uh, using the conveyor belts. It gets too. it goes too fast. Uh, you could try looping it back up and over, but again, you run the risk of clogging up and that's what I was running into considerably because these can stack up. If it doesn't have, if this, uh, block, one of these blocks stops, 
and doesn't get pushed it'll just keep backing up and then i have to go in and pull them all out and reset it and i wanted it to be automatic and this has been going all day no problems uh there was one problem where i accidentally turned this one off right here um by placing something on top of it i think so you want to be careful once this is built it's it's good you're done uh the best thing that i did was you don't have to filter it out like this you could just have uh i think four chests i think four chests is is all you need and it'll just fill those all up um i have the extra one just in case which i'm glad i did because i didn't know that i had busted it and all of these all of these went right into here no problem and, and it would just skip because i don't think it goes into the first one every time some of it sometimes it grabs it sometimes it doesn't so you got to be careful of that moving on over here uh now i've showed this before but this time it's uh, a little different um i've set it up so that uh unfortunately i still have to manually plant every tree but the trees are two blocks apart uh i didn't count how high up they go uh we can one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve at at the 13 mark that's where it goes um and at this uh height here this is where uh you can start putting things if you place it any lower these trees won't start growing because something's in the way so you can't even plant it so the best idea is to you can put your torches uh this high up what is that one two uh three four five six at the seventh mark you can do it and then up here uh i've just got this running constantly so that when the trees get uh, just high enough because it won't this won't grab up here this is where it'll start to grab and i think that's when the trees uh are at full maturity which is perfect which is what you want and i just left my guy sitting here and uh it worked out great um but this is something that uh you can you can just keep expanding it and keep going uh you can make it go faster if you want my goal here was to make it so that these because they do slow down when they hit uh the tree trunks when they hit the trees they slow down a little bit so you want to make sure that it has plenty of speed uh i could add more speed to this which i kind of want to see this is what i'm talking about gosh darn it man um i kind of want to but uh i don't think i'll do that right quite yet i think we're i think we're okay um yeah that's uh that's kind of everything the next steps that i'm going to start working on is a uh a farm that we'll be using the uh this this one here uh this windmill and i'm gonna have a bunch of stuff coming off of it uh table saw gear maker uh maybe some milk separator and milling machines it's it's and the uh the crusher as well um the goal of course is to just keep putting windmills all the way across and uh and that that should work out pretty well for any level of power that i need um i think that was about it like this took me a long time, so I'm really proud of it, but I kind of went through this pretty quick. Uh, I don't think I have anything else that I really wanted to tell you, but um, yeah, I'm sorry that I haven't put videos out in a while. Uh, I might be restructuring everything that I'm doing uh, moving forward. Uh, I've been streaming a lot. Uh, I'll be at E3 next week looking at all the new indie games. Uh, I'm looking to uh, start doing maybe once a week uh trying to put out a youtube video once a week with uh, something awesome and fun and, and uh some kind of indie game because i miss doing the indie games i really do and uh i'm gonna be at e3 uh next week and i'll be at uh uh pax west uh as well okay well i think that's it i don't really have anything else i want to say uh thank you guys so much for all the support the continued support and um you guys watching my videos and commenting it's just it really means a lot to me um because uh you know i i tend to forget not forget well i do i tend to forget how um you know my creativity and, and my insight and my knowledge uh is helpful to people and I, I sometimes you know we all feel that way sometimes where we don't feel like we uh we did anything good and uh i appreciate you guys thank you um all right well that's it um new things are on my patreon i updated that and uh i will see you guys uh in the next video. Thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you guys all next time. Stay groovy. Hello?